this is it. This is the end of turkey season right here, and I'm sitting in my truck, throwing in the towel. I came in here completely blind. Again, third morning hunt in a row that I have not roosted the birds at night and they have roosted in the exact same spot. Well, I shouldn't say spot, but on this same piece of land the past three Saturdays I've hunted in the morning. Again, across the road. Last weekend they were there. The weekend before that they were there. There's also another bird way off in the distance behind me. So... So yeah, beautiful morning this morning, not gonna lie. Birds are already off the field. <laughs> and it is literally a minute and a half. Until 5.30. There's two gobbles off behind me now, instead of just the one. I don't know if y'all can hear it, but probably not. That guy might be by himself, so. <laughs> oh, this is what we live for right here. This is it, this is the final weekend, Memorial Weekend. I got until Monday, and then season's done, so fingers crossed, knock on some wood that I get a bird this year. I think those are birds right there. Yep. There's three of them right there. Thankfully, they are just...
just three hens. So these are the only three birds. I'd like to know where all the other ones are. <sighs> Makes me wonder if they're in that back corner again. I'm going to take a driving glass towards the back corner to see if any of the birds are back there. I was really hoping that if that time was with those birds that drive up and try and push them, push them back towards the pop-up line and then I cut into the swamp and then try and make them move on them. But I ended up just being those three hens. So. There's our three hens from when we rolled in. Last night the birds did not cooperate. They literally hung around right here. They went back and forth two times and then went on to the neighbors to go up to roost. So I'm like, well, we're gonna sit here tonight. And the birds were already on the neighbor's property when I got here. And then just a little while ago, they pipe popped out back over here a few hundred yards away. And then this lone hen popped out in front of me, so. I'm hoping these birds come around and they're going to cross and hopefully they'll see the decoys. That's the, uh, that's the plan right now. But we'll see what happens. Girlfriend already shot and missed this morning and then again tonight. So, um, yeah, been a pretty interesting day today to say the least. But. All right, well, at least we got a bird to watch.
this is it. This is the end of turkey season right here, and I'm sitting in my truck throwing in the towel. Seems a little pathetic, right? To be throwing in the towel with it being only 545. And then I'm calling it for the year. Um, I'm just done with this bird. Like, this bird, I've thrown everything at this bird. I've adjusted my sets three, diff three four different times now. Adjusted decoy placement, adjusted how many decoys I'm putting out, how much I'm calling, how little I'm calling. Nothing works. I can't so much as to get that bird on this side of the property anymore. He is literally hanging out on the neighbor's property. Every day. Every day. The past three, or no, the past two morning sets come off the roost over there disappear on that side never cross the road they did that one time one time they came across but they stayed up along the edge of the road up and down up and down cross the road disappeared we've only caught him on this side in the middle of the cornfield in front of me one time one time and we try to put the sneak on him try to stalk him didn't work ended up the heads ended up busting us and took off. That's it. This bird, we're done. He wins. Kudos to you, bird. Um, and hopefully he'll be bigger next year, and hopefully I can get back on this property next year. I know there will be a lot of birds here next year. Um, there was what I would hear anywhere from three to five gobbles in the morning, different ones at any given time. You know, you kind of really just get to that point where you've been grinding so hard that you just get to that point where I've done everything in my book and nothing's worked. Why bother? Kind of where I'm at. So, it is what it is. Everybody gets to that point. And I'm at my point. Again, not trying to make some lame excuse for not chasing this bird, but... It's what it sounds like, take it like it is an excuse or whatever, but um, I'm just done. I'm done chasing this bird. He wins. That's it. That's all I got to say. You win, bird. 15 more minutes, we're going to wrap it up. I already pulled the pop-up blind and everything else, so I'm just going just gonna to sit here and hope to see the birds, maybe be able to put a move on them, but uh, we'll see. See what happens tonight and uh, go from there. I appreciate everybody watching these videos. Hopefully everybody enjoyed them. I know there's a lot of goof ups with someone forgetting to turn the camcorder or not the camcorder, but uh, someone forgetting to turn the microphone on. So there's a couple clips without audio. My dad got his first bird this year. So I'm real happy about that. Real happy that my dad got his first bird this year. So that was a highlight of my year. Your season's coming right around the corner. Haven't done any scouting. This year's kind of going to be a little bit more on the uh, going in blind kind of thing this year. I'm working on hopefully getting a new piece of property to hunt on in October and for the early doe hunt. But, uh, we'll see about that. But anyhow, I'm going to grind it out here for a few more minutes and uh, go home. So see you all in the next video, guys. Thanks for watching.